Hi there. In this tutorial, I will explain to you the PLC ladder programming for auto transformer starter. This program is implemented and demonstrated in Logosoft PLC software. Before I explain you the program, it is very important for you to understand the theory, background and program development. It is explained in my article www.helptoeducate.com and please when you visit this page website browse through the section PLC programmable logic controllers where you will find this article so before the program I will exp I will go quickly through the physical arrangement as you can see this is the motor which we want to start with auto transformer method this is the auto transformer arrangement and this is the main three phase supply for auto transformer we need at least three contactors this is the main contactor s1 s2 and s3 are other three contactors initially this contactor will be closed along with this contactor and this contactor so the current will follow the path through the auto transformer then into the motor windings giving it reduced voltage but when the motor, motor ga gains enough speed this contactor is opened this is opened while this one is closed so then the current will follow the path through above the auto transformer hence it will be bypassed and total voltage will be given to the motor so in this way a reduced voltage is given to the motor in the starting while full voltage is given when enough speed has been gained let us look at the plc program and we will refer to it in different at different moments this is the PLC ladder logic program for auto transformers motor starter developed in logosoft PLC demo version software now you can see we have divided it into three steps or three sections rung 1 rung 2 and rung 3 let us look at each step or each section this first contact uh, section will energize the main contactor it depends on the start button stop button overload relay and this parallel main contactor input so this contactor will only energize if start button is pressed stop button is not pressed overload relay is not picked the reason for adding this main contactor is input which depends on the main contactor in parallel to this one is to make this a momentary push button so once this is pressed it will be energized then if it is released this path will provide the current and keep the contactor energized let's have a look as you can see this is blue it is off so when I push the start momentary button it is energized now you must have noticed that I have released this button this is blue but still this is energized because this input is providing the parallel path now let us look at the section 2 bear with me now this section turns on the timer also energize the contactor S2 and S1 as you can see these two will only be energized if main contactor is energized transformer is not activated q3 
the third contactor is also not energized also as soon as the main contactor is energized the timer will be start counting the preset delay as you can see it has been added here and in the third step or the third section this is the third contactor so this relay coil will only be energized if main contactor is energized timer is activated while s2 and s1 are de-energized the reason for adding s1 and s2 normally close contacts here is to prevent simultaneous energizing of all these three coils so this will only energize if they are de-energized similar position comes here these two will only energize if this is de-energized so in this way we can prevent the energizing of all these three contactors simultaneously let us run the simulation now if i momentarily start this button the main contactor will energize as you can see also these two contactors are energized s1 and s2 and the timer has started its counting i've just paused it it has started its counting so in this time the current is flowing through auto transformer let us have a look so when start button is pressed as you can see this contactor is energized this is energized and the, the switch are closed s2 and s1 so the current fall comes from the main supply goes through the auto transformer through its stepping into the motor so reduced voltage is applied for in this matter of time now let me resume the simulation after 10 seconds you can see these two are now closed you can see from here as well while s3 q3 is now energized when this happens as you can see s2 and s1 are now de-energized switches are open while s3 is energized it closes the switch and now the current from the supply goes through this path bypassing the auto transformer into the motor and back to the supply so now the auto transformer is bypassed and full voltage is being applied to the motor so in this way we can achieve the star delta the auto transformer motor starter this 10 seconds delay depends on the user requirement hopefully you have enjoyed this tutorial please visit www.helptoeducate.com for more such articles if you like it please thumbs up or like to our facebook page or subscribe to our youtube youtube channel this will encourage us to make more of such videos thank you very much for the watch what thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye